Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to dive into a crucial networking topic, how to put your Spectrum router in bridge mode. This can help you streamline your network setup and improve your overall internet experience. So, what exactly is bridge mode? When you enable bridge mode on your Spectrum router, it essentially disables its routing functions and turns it into a simple bridge between your internet connection and another router. This is useful if you have a more advanced router that you want to use for all your networking needs. Before we jump into the setup, make sure you have the following ready, your Spectrum router, a computer or laptop connected to the router, and your new router if you're planning to use one. 1. First, make sure your Spectrum router is connected and powered on. 2. Connect your computer to the Spectrum router using an Ethernet cable or Wi-Fi. Now, let's log into your Spectrum router settings. Open a web browser and type in the router's IP address and hit enter. You'll be prompted to enter your login credentials. If you haven't changed these, the default username is usually admin and the password is either admin or password. Check the router's label if these don't work. Once logged in, look for the advanced settings or network settings in the menu. This might be under sections like LAN settings or WAN settings. Find the option for bridge mode or pass-through mode. Enable this option. If you don't see these exact terms, look for options related to disabling the router's NAT, network address translation, or DHCP, dynamic host configuration protocol. Save the settings and reboot your router for the changes to take effect. After your Spectrum router reboots, connect your new router to the Spectrum router using an Ethernet cable. Plug one end of the cable into the LAN port of the Spectrum router and the other end into the WAN port of your new router. Your new router should now handle all the network routing functions, while the Spectrum router operates in bridge mode, acting just as a bridge. Lastly, check your new router settings to ensure everything is working correctly. You should be able to connect to the internet and access your network as usual. If you encounter any issues, make sure your new router is properly configured and that all cables are securely connected. And that's it. You've successfully put your Spectrum router in bridge mode. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tips and tutorials. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.